This is the new Sony e-ink e-reader with the new e-ink technology. It's using the Pro e-ink screen and uh, you can see the screen quality is really really high and the contrast is really high and uh, the cool thing about this one which is really new the first time I've seen it anyways is a very special touch screen technology it's not capacitive it's maybe even better than capacitive it's like some kind of um, uh, infrared thing going on and for that to work there is um, probably like the the sides are a little bit higher than maybe uh, another e-reader e might be like there's some like something's going on here in the sides there's something going on and right here I was um, I just double clicked on something or selected something but th there's some features where you can uh, double click on a word and then you have a dictionary down here I can double click on any word I want and uh, it just comes with a definition here uh, if you are uh, let's say you are Spanish and you're not super good at English right so you would take this dictionary right there and basically what it does is it translates the word uh, that's what I think it does here right it translates it um, to to the Spanish stuff so any word you want you just double click on it and uh, if you click next next somewhere else or you know you just close it it's gone so it's really just an e-reader it's just for that it's if you want a high quality e-reader if you want uh, this is an alternative way of reading than the Kindle. A Kindle is nice as well and uses the same screen uh, the new Kindle but um, here you have kind of a different philosophy as well Sony has been promoting this really really awesome uh, way of getting ebooks which is you can you can get them for free from your library it's just it's just awesome you, I mean imagine the idea don't pay for, for ebooks just get them from the digital library on the internet I think that's really really awesome and that's really disruptive and it's really great to have the concept of having an e-reader that can get access to all the books ever written by by people and for free that's cool but the problem with that is that it only works in certain um, communes or what do you say districts or something you need to have some local governments who have some somehow allowed this to happen and I don't know exactly how many there are but it might not be many at all so if you don't live in one of these regions the only thing you can do is pay ten dollar fifteen dollar for each ebook or you can put any epub file you want on this device epub and pdf and all that so but basically what really what you you need to see is is just the quality of the screen I'm not so sure I would like to to use the the uh, to use the touch screen all the time to to change pages so there would be this down here and you, as you can see it's really really fast and refreshing I mean this is this is is a faster e-ink it's quite fast it's quite cool but I might say that I like the idea of having buttons on the side instead which this one doesn't so it's either little buttons down here it might be fine you might get used to it you might prefer big buttons on the side I think it would have been nice to have big buttons on the side and logically if you just look at the, the features getting access to all the books in the world is awesome but we're now in 2010 and this device could maybe it could have had uh, a Wi-Fi there's no Wi-Fi uh, and uh, perhaps at the price that it's being sold at it could make sense if it had Wi-Fi but you're really getting some nice uh, you're getting nice uh, what do you call it uh, touch screen user interface and well I would say that if, if you had if you had the uh, if you had Wi-Fi and if you had some software like kind of like Android for e-readers 
just imaginary software like that. It, you could maybe like navigate on online content stores and uh, navigate uh, Project Gutenberg on the internet or your local libraries uh, catalog or um, any ebook content store like it could even be like Google Books and all that. It, I think it would be awesome and then the touch screen would be like really really useful. Uh, but right there, right now, you can also use it for annotations. So, if you click here, notes, uh, create, edit, and then uh, like this, I can annotate. I can do like this, and it saves the annotations. But there's a, kind of like a problem as well. If you look in the specs, the problem is if the ebook is digitally copyrighted, co uh, protected, and if the, the publisher does not allow you to export the, the annotations, you're not allowed to export annotations. So, that's kind of like a, a closed kind of a DRM thing going on here, and um, I don't know, I just think it's a little bit, uh, you know, you buy a device, and I think you should be able to do whatever you want with it, but of course, um, Sony has to like uh, not not make uh, publishers too angry, so or too afraid, because this is very disruptive technology to get an e-reader. To get, I mean, check it out. It's really like paper. Let, let's compare it with an old, uh, old like just a year old, uh, this device here. Let's see. This is the old uh, type of e-ink, and here is the new one. And we're gonna try and uh, resume in a book right over here. Can you see a quality difference in this light? Okay, we should check speed change difference. One, I'm trying to click at the same time, and both are EPUBs. Well, I think it's faster, right? I mean. Pearl is faster, and you have to consider that one on the left is uh, smaller, so that might as well provide faster refresh. Not really sure. Well, it's hard to test, but uh, it's really a question of just the quality. Here you have perhaps your, the reader you're considering getting to get. So, basically, I would like to see a device like this with Android, uh, because I would like to be able to sit on my laptop and click a Chrome to phone functionality and I want the articles to like get into a read queue right here automatically, wirelessly, there should be a read queue so I can read all the articles from the internet right here or any like text from the internet, I should just be able to beam it wirelessly, that's really a feature I'd like to see and i will also like to see uh, Wi-Fi because the annotations are awesome but uh, they, they they don't make enough sense if if you're not uh, they don't make enough sense if you're not like uh, using them for something. I mean, you should not just export them, but you should be able to you should be able to collaborate uh, with other people who like to do annotations. Um, and here, note taking is well, it's fun, but really the the annotation part on text. Is, is the main thing and uh, uh, you can just resume in the last text you were in and then you click options notes and uh, create and here again like this or like this I mean it's cool of course it's cool, but uh, it would be more useful, I think, if there was an internet connection. And, uh, yeah, there's some features over here as well, where you can uh, let's search for some text, which is one of the other cool things, to have a touch screen like this. This way you save space for the keyboard under it, so we can search for, uh, uh, like, a store.
and see if it finds it well restored um, so this is it that was this video 10 minutes of just uh, showing you the screen basically and uh, if you want to see find more features you can uh, check some other videos on the internet I'm just trying to show you the the screen and uh, yeah you you know what's around here some space for this SD card and the memory stick the Sony stick so this is it the Sony PRS 650